Hello, and welcome to Pre-Algebra Lesson 4. And in this video, we're going to learn about rounding whole numbers. So our lesson objective for today is simply to learn how to round whole numbers. So before we get into the procedure that we use to round a whole number, let's talk a little bit about why we would round whole numbers. So in many situations, an exact value is not needed. In these cases, an approximation is easier to use and remember. And when we talk about approximations, we're talking about a value that is close to the original value, but not exactly there. All right, so rounding a whole number. The first thing you want to do is locate the digit in the round off place. So for example, if we are rounding to the nearest 10, you would start by locating the digit in the tens place. When you first start out, I would circle that digit or highlight it or do something to say, hey, this is my round off place. So kind of step two, is to look at the digit to the right of the round off place. So if the digit to the right of the round off place is, and you have two different scenarios, the first one is four or less, you wanna leave the digit in the round off place unchanged. Then the second scenario that could occur is that it's five or larger. In this case, we increase the digit in the round off place by one. Okay, increase the digit in the round off place by one. And then your third and final step is pretty easy. You just replace each digit to the right of the round off place with a zero. Okay, here we want to round 631 to the nearest 10. So again, I'm looking for the tens place, and that's going to be this three here. And then in step two, what I want to do is I want to look at the digit to the right, and that's going to be this one. Now, does this one fall in the category of four or less, or does it fall in the category of five or larger? Well, it's clearly in the category of four or less. So when that happens, I want to leave the digit in the round off place, which is the three, right? It's in the tens place, unchanged. So I would have six, and then the three is gonna be unchanged. And then in step three, I'm gonna replace each digit to the right of the round off place with a zero. So the one is to the right of the round off place. I'm gonna replace that with a zero. And so 631, rounded to the nearest 10 is 630. Okay, next we want to round 7,952 to the nearest thousand. So 7,952, and we're looking for the digit in the thousands place. So that's gonna be this seven here. And then we look for the digit immediately to the right of that, so that's this nine. And obviously the nine falls in the category of five or larger. So when this occurs, we increase the digit in the round off place by one. So I'm gonna increase that seven by one. Seven plus one is eight. And then I replace each digit to the right of the round off place with a zero. So I'm gonna replace the nine with a zero, the five with a zero, and the two with a zero. And so 7,952 rounded to the nearest thousand is 8,000. Okay, next we wanna round 813,275 to the nearest 10,000. All right, so we have 813,275, and the 10,000's place is right here. So I'm looking at the digit that follows that, and that's this three here. Three falls in the category of four or less. So when this occurs, we're gonna leave this digit in the round off place unchanged. Unchanged. So, the eight and the one are gonna stay unchanged. I don't need to do anything to those. But I'm gonna replace each digit to the right of the round off place with a zero. So the three is to the right of the one, so I'm gonna replace that with a zero. And then I'm gonna replace the two, the seven, and the five. And so 813,275 rounded to the nearest 10,000 is 810,000. Okay, for the last problem, we want around 61 million 5,387 to the nearest million. So 61 million 5,387 to the nearest million. So the millions place is right here. That's the one. And we want to look at the digit to the right of the one. So I'm looking at this digit here, which is a zero. Zero is obviously in the category of four or less. So we're going to leave the digit in the round off place unchanged unchanged. So basically the six and the one 
will be unchanged. And then everything that follows the one, which is the digit in the round off place, will just be a zero. So I'll have zero, 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 comma, zero, zero, zero. So 61 million 5,387 rounded to the nearest million is 61 million.